Do you allow your passengers to have their arms and legs hanging out the window, putting their phone out the side of the window? You know, it's popular on social media now where everybody's got to have their feet hanging out the side, taking their picture over some big city. Um, I've been asked about this before, and I never really responded on it because people want my opinion, and I was like, eh, probably going to upset the apple cart, and there'll be all kinds of people going, oh, my God, nothing wrong with that. My opinion, I'll go ahead and say it. I want my passengers to keep their arms and legs in the aircraft. I want you to remain in your proper factory seatbelt. I want you to keep your arms and legs inside. I don't mind if you take a picture inside the aircraft looking out the window, but no, I don't want your phone hanging out the side, viewing the tail rotor, looking down the ground. I just don't think it's good practice. Hey, I want to do a response to an email I got from another helicopter operator about a video that we did yesterday. And it's about taking doors off on the Robinson helicopter. And you could take this really with any helicopter. So back to the subject, I briefed Jack yesterday before we left. I said, okay, as long as you're cool with me taking the doors off, do you have anything in your pockets? He was wearing shorts and a t-shirt. And he was like, oh, all I got is this. Here, I'll take it out. So whatever he had in his pocket, he removed and left it at the hangar. So there was no danger of him uh, having anything fly out. And I keep the aircraft nice and clean inside. I don't leave water bottles. I don't leave trash. I make sure, I always make people, when you get out, latch your seatbelt back in. I'm big on keeping the aircraft really clean. So I already knew there was nothing in there, but not only did I tech, er, test Jack, I also checked the aircraft. Everything's latched, seat belts are latched, there's no debris laying around, and we've spent a bunch of time setting up our cameras and getting our cameras, those cameras nice and secure, securing my cables for the camera. So I'm confident nothing's gonna fly out. And again, I appreciate this other operator saying, hey Kenny, you know, it was a personal email. He goes, I saw your video yesterday and I just hope you think about this, you know? And I'm like, yes, of course. I've been to the Robinson Factory Safety School and I've studied all the Robinson safety tips and notices. I'm a firm believer and that's really, really good stuff that applies to basically any aircraft. Again, put your comments down below. If you're a firm believer that this is safe and that's what you should do, Go ahead and argue your side of the case, but personally, since people ask me, I don't really care if I upset the apple cart, I don't think it's a good idea. You know, there's been one particular fatal accident in, that I could think of, and I was asked about it, and it was one of those where they have the doors off, and they're letting people put in special harnesses on so they can swing out the halfway out and put their feet out the side. Well, you know, professional photographers do that, that are trained to do that. These are just everyday passengers doing this kind of stuff. And there was a fatal accident where somebody's special harness pulled a fuel valve off and you know people end up dying and there was a fatal accident over it just so people could swing and put their feet out the side of the aircraft. I just don't think it's a good idea. And for me personally, it's just not something that I wanna be involved in. So what I was saying was, if you're gonna take off just one, take off the right hand side. Because the idea is if anything flies out of the aircraft, it can go into the tail rotor and of course cause a for real failure. Again, I thank this operator for pointing that out, but yes, I'm well versed in those accidents. I understand, but we took the time to make sure my passenger had nothing that was gonna fly out and I made sure that the inside of the aircraft was clean and there was absolutely nothing to fly out. So you can imagine, of course, the speed of this tail rotor spinning object goes into it, you can figure out what happens. So that is a great topic. I'm glad that guy reached out and mentioned that to me. Something you have to think about. Yes, you can legally take them doors off. And there are some limitations for speeds and different things, but if you're gonna take off a door, just one, take off this side. If you're gonna take them both off, or all four off in the R44 case, just make sure everything's secure especially knee boards, anything that can go out the window. And I want to mention, we are doing flight training in the R44. FAC, Final Approach Course, that's where you've got everything pretty much kind of put together, but you're down to the end and you can't line up examiner, instructor, sign-offs, and aircraft. And for whatever reason, this seems to be a real problem in different places around the country. We have an examiner we've been using for 22 years that's available to give check rides in the Robinson. As we did last year, I'm going to be careful not to overbook. Reach out to Heather at 574-767-1797. Hogs member concierge, she can answer all your questions. Or you can just visit helicopterground.com as well.
And so we're down to two days left of the Hogs 12 years online sale. We're super excited. Two days left and today's special with a private lifetime, which is a limited time offer and it's discounted at the moment. You'll get the Hogs Live to Fly Another Day hoodie. Got the nice uh, helicopterground.com on the sleeve. The first three that sign up for private lifetime or professional pilot will get the Hogs Live to Fly Another Day hoodie. Okay, so there's two days left. Reach out to Hogs member support at 574 767 1797 if you have any questions. Something else that's new and fun askhogs.com. That's Kenny's clone. Was that right? Askhogs.com. Kenny's clone. 12 years of my content loaded into this clone and it can answer better than I can. And it speaks better than I do in my own voice. Freaky and cool, but people have really been enjoying it. And you'll be amazed at some of the really good technical answers that you can get at askhogs.com. So again, two days left on the Hogs 12 year sale. Go to helicopterground.com, that link's somewhere around the video. And we have 20% off any memberships available until Tuesday, the 5th at midnight, and then the sale goes away. And it's right on the website, hogs, 12 years is the code, but you can see it when you get there, you don't even have to remember it. Just apply the, or enter the code, click apply, and it shows you the discounted price. So helicopterground.com, we're having a blast with our 44, lots more to come, so subscribe. Click like, you know, hit the bell and all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the hogs, no go, and live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com. Okay, I'm ready. No, you're not. Hands out of your pocket. God damn it. You got your vape in there? No. Whenever you are. We're recording? Yep. All right. You need, like, longer arms. Do what? You need longer arms? <laughs> well, if I didn't have a double chin, I wouldn't be as worried about it. Am I too dark or am I okay? Um, I was worrying about that when we came around the corner. Yeah. I'm like, am I too dark now? Versus chop. I mean, right, we could have done that with the last one. Yeah. I could have threw a new beginning on it. Yeah. And we were done because I liked it.